We're thankful for the beautiful musicians, the beautiful New Zealand musicians that make up the fabric of New Zealand Music Month. Man, that was good. Dang, Far Sarah, up. you should work on radio. Sometimes I just say some cool things and the other times I'm useless. <laughs> but because we're celebrating New Zealand Music Month, we thought we'd get a really, really cool New Zealand music artist in studio to have a jam and talk about her story because she's got a beautiful story. Her name is Yaya, a.k.a. Holly Cameron. Good morning, Holly. Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me. Back What's again. Cracking? Back again. I was, when Bex was like, do you want to come back on? I was like, take me back to my people. Take yes. me back. Because nice. I, I had so much fun when I was on here last year with you guys. Yeah, you did. You have been in studio before. Your, yeah. na- your stage name is Yaya. Yeah. We know the, the background about that. But for those who have just tuned in, what's the background behind your stage name, Yaya? Quickly. I love it. Um, I used to live in London. And I nannied for a couple of kids. And Holly's quite hard to say for kids because the H's, they get stuck. It's like, hol, hol. Like, what's your nickname, you know? Holly. 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 <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was nicknamed by a four-year-old and a two-year-old, Yaya, one day. And I was like, are you talking to me? And they're like, Yaya. And I was like, that's it. That's how, long, it. how long ago was that? Oh, that was probably maybe eight to ten years ago awesome. in London. Yep. And I put it as my Instagram name and then yep. the rest was history. history. Okay. All yeah. right. So, yeah, I won't call you Holly anymore. I'll say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, you've done your stints overseas in London. Mm-hmm. You did your, your nannying thing. I think you've been in the States as well. Yeah. So, you've been home for a little bit. And I asked you the last time you came in here, came in, how is it like being home? You see, it was really cool. Yeah. How are you still feeling about being home and being surrounded by your roots? I'm loving it. I feel... Um, I feel super supported and super, like, uffied on by, um, like, the radio stations, New Zealand On the Air, um, APRA. Everyone just seems to be so, yeah, so supportive. And I knew that would happen coming home, like, a a Kiwi returning home, you know, after being overseas for 15 years. But I just didn't expect the, the love and support to be that much. So I've been really overwhelmed by it. I went to Sydney for a holiday the other week. And I was kind of itching to get home. Like, at the start, I was like, I could totally move here. Sydney's so cool. Like, it's so much bigger than Auckland. And, I, and then I was like, get me on the plane. <laughs> I want to come home. I want to come home just because Kiwis are like, we're, we're such a, um, I don't know, we're such chilled, laid back, beautiful human beings. I was like, get me back home. Well, we're so. lucky and blessed to have you back home. Oh. Yeah, we are so, so stoked. And Holly, it's really cool to be with you again. I love that you just recently dyed your hair red. So have I. Um, you girl. Cut it out, you two. Twinning. Seriously. Honestly, we, um, we planned this. Yeah. So. yeah. Looks good. We go Looks so good. far back. <laughs> but um, last time we talked to you, we talked a little bit about your creative journey. I just wanted to ask sort of for you how you found the creative process as an artist in New Zealand because it is New Zealand Music Month. And so I know that there's a lot of artists and I actually live with a few artists and I know that Actually, there's a lot of challenges that come with that. So how that's been for you and then also what role faith has played in your journey as well. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, So coming home originally, I was only meant to be back for three months. Um, Lol, nearly two and a half years later, (laughs) I was going to go back to LA. And um, I definitely think it was a God thing. My my friend um, in Houston, we were talking about me coming home and he said, I think that God's taking you home for a reason to like rediscover who you are um, as a Māori person, but also um, to realise that you can be a light in the industry there. And I was like, oh, a bit, bit, bit of a heavy, yeah. heavy thing yeah. there. Okay. Um, so coming home, I, I still thought I'd be home for the few months, and then doors started literally being swung open. I was... Um, I didn't know really anyone in the music industry because I'd moved when I was 16. So I... Um, started going to gigs of artists I admired and then I would literally walk up to them afterwards and just be like, that was amazing, da-da-da, follow each other on Instagram and then we'd end up in a session. Because I I would just be like... I'd, I'd, I like. I really admire you. I'd love to to jam or whatever. And then from that, there was actually Ash and Gabe from Foley. And then from that, they opened up doors to the producers and writers and artists they work with, and literally ushered me into the most beautiful community. So I, I don't literally looking back on it now, I don't know how it happened so quickly. But then I know it was God. Well, then you had to take the first step to make that happen to introduce you to the yeah to introduce, introduce yourself to these artists. So yeah, that's which. A, can be quite scary. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I'm like, you have nothing to lose. Absolutely. And you, if you admire someone, no one's ever going to um, be 
be annoyed if you come up to them after the show and they're like, I really like what you did. Like, that was amazing. And then you just do the cheeky Instagram follow, have a little chat, and then you're like, we should jam. That might be a heads up for someone <laughs> else, a, a budding musician out there yeah. who's trying to crack it as well. You know, it's, yeah, I had the confidence. Maybe, you know, you might be a bit shy, but if you want to crack it, that might be a way in. Yeah. You talked about you wanted to uh, come back to your roots and that journey of, your Māori roots, yeah. right? How's that going for you? <clears throat> Amazing. I um, So right after I spoke to you guys about Thoughts on My Bed and then it being translated to Ngā Mahara Moinga for um, Waiata Anthems, I um, did a Te Reo Music Hub Week, which was really, really emotional in the most amazing way. Um, w- I got to meet unreal musicians and creatives in the Te Reo sector, and I was... Um, I had translators and people to push me in my journey. So I got, actually, I got funded a Te Reo song, another one that's going to come out this year. Stop um, it. I, wouldn't, I can't give any dates or anything. We haven't, we haven't finalised it. But um, I was listening to it last night, and it is a little summer banger. Um, it's actually featuring another Māori artist. Um, is it done? In al- the can? Almost. Okay. It's there, but it will be out this year. It will definitely be out this year. Um, so, yeah, I... I, I did this week of writing and um, was pushed and challenged in my te reo. Um, I'm, I'm still on my learning journey, still very much the basics, building that, making sure that's tight and solid to then go on to like full on sentences and everything because it can, um, I did a course at the end of last year, but I need to get back into it. Um, it's been amazing. It's been so cool. I feel like it's one of the reasons why I came home. Congratulations on mm. diving in with that because that's massive and that's as you are already identified as well as part of your identity so I encourage you as someone who's also proud of his culture I encourage you to keep diving in there oh thank you you. you're gonna jam for us right yes all right the song that you're gonna jam for us there's a couple of questions here what what inspires you and how do you get into a space to write a song Mm -hmm. right and two the song that you're going to be singing for us, yeah. what's the meaning behind it? Yeah, so this song's called Go, uh, came out um, around about a month ago. And this really is one of my favourite songs because it organically came from a jam session. We didn't oh, go cool. in and we were like, yeah, let's write like a full song. It was with a new producer, Dan Martin and um, Gabe from Foley, who came in here last time and played guitar. And we just went in and we were like, obviously therapy session at the start. What's going on with you, Holly? And I'm like, well, I feel like, leaning into the next question, what it's about, um, I feel like I'm in a place where I'm realising my worth when it comes to relationships. Um, But it's tricky because you're human and sometimes uh, liking someone gets quite overwhelming and distracting (laughs) where you're like oh gosh like I know I want my person I know what I'm worth um so this song is about taking back your worth when you've gone a little bit um distracted from who you are and just saying I'm gonna take back you'll hear it in the chorus um I'm gonna take back my power and realize that I need to be um I need to be waiting for the right person and you're not it, so I'm going to go. <laughs> so That's it's, good. It's Ooh. very empowering yeah. for me to sing and, and um, yeah, I hope you guys will awesome. um, enjoy it. It's, um, it's a fun one, but it's also very empowering for the ladies. How, how many times have you sung it live? This is the third time. Does it get empowering every time? That, that, does, it, does the level of empowerment get Big A every time you sing? Yeah, because you okay. kind of, when you first start performing it, you're a bit nervous about, like, getting it right. But we've done, Ben and I have done this acoustically another time. Um, so, like, when we met up this morning, I was like, let's just dive in. And then you think about what you're seeing, you're like, oh, wow, that's actually, it's quite deep, Holly. It's Ming. quite deep. <laughs> Go me. I loved it. So good, Holly. And I would just ask, just before we get to you playing your song, I want to know, firstly, what would you say to someone listening right now who maybe is struggling in the music industry as a young artist? What encouragement would you give them? And then where can we find your jams? Yeah, of course. Um, I have a real heart for uh, younger artists uh, whenever I'm in the room with one, especially females. Um, I do my best to, to make them make them feel encouraged and loved on because, you know, I'm, I'm in my early 30s and it still is tough. Um, my advice would be um, just keep going. Uh, in my head, the way that I keep going is 
if my child, future children have a passion to do something, music or not, I would just be like, give it everything you've got. Give it everything you've got and live with no regrets because life is short. And um, if you are thinking about giving up and you, you're younger and you love music, like what else would you do? I don't think it would give you the joy of tapping into your creative self and expressing something that not only um, heals you and helps you, but helps others. Like that's the reason why I do my music is to find a real relatability with others and to have a connection. So um, yeah, if you're thinking about giving up and, and you're struggling, I get it. But also remember what you have is a piece of the world that only you can offer. It's beautiful so advice. Good. I'm going to take that on board because I've been struggling in the music game, man. <laughs> seriously, I'm going to take that on board. Do you Thanks. rap? Oh, seriously. Get on one of my tracks. This is not about me. <laughs> this is about you. Okay, this next step. Where can we people find your music? Um, everywhere. All streaming services for this specific song. We did a music video for it, so it's nice. on YouTube. Um, it's called Go. Just search Yaya on all platforms. And um, on Instagram, I'm super active with with shows and new songs and bits and pieces. And so. that's Y-A-H, Y-A-H, yes. one word, eh? Yes. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Okay, <laughs> well, um, we'll say goodbye. Thank you so much, Holly, for jumping... Yeah, yeah, for jumping in this Thank morning. You you've been you've been special. You've been very Stop awesome. It. Continue to do what you do, bro. Oh, thanks for having me. Let's do this. Ben, you just stay handsome, you awesome guitarist. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking of your face and every single word you told me. I've been wishing for a while these days. I needed to numb the goodbye. And I can see the passion fade. Funny how I tripped on falling. Cheers to the glass we raised. I know that you had a good time. I got my mind on your mouth and you think that it's funny. All the words that you say, they don't match what you're doing. Let you line up your lies and ignore all the feelings aside. So watch me go. To where you am and I'm going. I'm done to walk me home. I gave it all. I take it right back. So watch me go. Oh, 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 oh. oh it so hurts to walk away. The way my feelings change Cause I don't want the memories fading You like to leave it in the talking stage Cause that's where we had the good times I got my mind on your mouth And you think that is funny All the words that you say They don't match what you're doing Let you line up your lies And ignore all the feelings inside So watch me go To where you yeah, am and I'm going I'm done. Don't walk me home. I gave it all. I take it right back. So watch me go. And now I'm gonna late night car rides backseat of my mind. Funny how I tripped on falling. Thought you're everything I wanted. Now I know what I don't want. Yeah, I'm done. So watch me go. To where yeah, man, I'm going. I'm done. Don't walk me home. I give it all. I take it right back. So watch me go. Oh, it still hurts to walk away.